What's going on guys? Hans Strazina with the Gunderman Group at Keller Williams Luxury International coming to you from my new backyard. Yes, my wife and I just bought a house and we're in the process of moving in and it really inspired me um, as a first time home buyer to make this video because it's putting me through a very different experience than I normally go through. Um, my wife and I own some investment properties and I flipped a house and done some stuff like that, but actually moving in is kind of crazy. So I wanted to share some thoughts and some tips that I'm coming up with as we're moving and just kind of walk you through what to expect once you actually close and go to move in. Um, I am going to be posting some other cool videos because we're doing some renovations on the house as you'll see here in a few minutes. So I'll post those and when they're ready, I'll throw them right up here so you can check them out. But um, this video is more about uh, kind of the psychology of moving in. And frankly, you know, walking through this house, you'll see what I mean. I mean, our lives are completely in chaos. Part of why I'm doing this video selfie style is because <laughs> my normal setup isn't even set up yet. But as you can see just behind me, we've had some painting, we've had a lot of flooring done. It's been nuts in here. And the biggest thing that I've noticed here um, in this whole process of moving, storing things, packing things, unpacking things, is just this utter feeling of like, your life has just been turned upside down and you don't know which way is up. You don't even know where, where your silverware is, let alone you know, where uh, the, the normal routines, the ins and the outs of the house, what doors do what, what light switches do what. And it's really disorienting, especially when you get really excited about your first home or a new home. You, you think this is gonna be just the coolest thing ever, which it is, but then you have these sort of negative feelings about uh, the house because you're like, oh, I feel just discombobulated. I'm all over the place. It's stuff I'm going through right this second, actually. And uh, then you start to second guess yourself. Should we have done this? Was this a really good decision? Did we pay too much? What about this uh, repair? What about the, the new block? What about the running route? What about the commute? All this stuff changes very, very abruptly, really literally overnight, because that's when you close your house. And it's utterly, you know, fascinating, but also dis uh, disturbing in some ways because of how um, intrusive it is. Let me just give you a quick look at what I mean here. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Like the whole discombobulation thing, like this is literally our garage with all of our things in it. And we've been trying to like unpack and sort of slowly move in and out of these boxes. But this is the kind of thing that all of you guys who are buying and selling real estate will end up with in some way. Maybe your garage won't be um, stacked full of stuff like this, but it'll feel that way at some point. You know, and you know, our kitchen is halfway there, but you can see like I'm, we're living in a construction zone. And this kind of thing, while it's really exciting because you're seeing all these amazing changes and you're, we're so excited to like, you know, put the couch in here and, you know, do another remodel and all that kind of stuff. It's crazy. And even the dog feels that way. So, you know, what can you do? Uh, well, the first thing is to know that it's going to happen to you. Uh, you're going to have this moment regardless of what price you got the house for, how excited you are about the location, where your life is just going to feel like it's in utter chaos. You're not going to know where the cable to your computer went, where your favorite mug is. Like you're going to have that regardless of if you do like what we're doing here, you know, painting and doing all these redos or refinishes, or you just move in right away. And then not to mention the fact that you're on a new block. So your commute is going to be different. Your drive to the store is going to be different. It's all going to change. And so having that expectation that it's not all going to be roses and sunshine, I think is honestly the best thing that you can do going into this process because it is really exciting it is a lot of fun there are so many great positives about it but you will eventually feel something negative uh, and it will potentially hinder your ability to enjoy your new place so um, basically uh, just know that it's coming uh, be prepared for it and uh, you know maybe think ahead and, and think like 
some little packing tips, I suppose. What am I gonna want when I'm first there that's gonna really make it feel like home? My bed, my pillow, you know, the, the mug that I use, the coffee set up, whatever that is for you, like put that somewhere where you can easily get to it because that will immediately help you make it feel like home even when the rest of your stuff is uh, maybe not unpacked or it's in transit or whatever the case is. And then secondly, I mean, other than sort of accepting this fact is just know that this is a new chapter for you. And I know that's easier said than done a lot of the times, but things are gonna change. You're gonna make new memories. It's not gonna be like it used to be. I mean, my, my kitchen is different. The washer dryer is different. The dishwasher is different. It's all different, but it's, and, and I found myself comparing it to my old place. And these appliances are legitimately better, but I was thinking like, man, this is set up differently or the rack is different or the door is different or whatever, and, and sort of comparing it to that. And while, you know, that's my, that's the tendency a lot of the times is to compare what we had before. Uh, if you can sort of accept this as like new chapter, new experience, I'm gonna get new routines, I'm gonna get new places to put things, um, it's going to make your transition into the helm just that much better. So guys, if you got some value out of this, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel because I'm gonna continue to put out content like this. And if you like this style of videos, selfie kind of walk through stuff, I am gonna continue to do um, a few transformation videos on this space behind me, show you kind of the before and after what we did. And so I'll link to those uh, when they're ready. But also if you, you're good digging this kind of content, um, let me know down in the comments because I'd love to hear from you. Uh, so without any further ado, I'm out of here for today. This is Hans Strazina with the Gunderman Group at Keller Williams Luxury International signing off for now. See you guys on the next one.